Hey everybody, Mark here with another episode of Clearing the Cloud. Uh, sorry for the long pause between episode updates, but my wife and I uh, welcomed a new baby girl into our family, and if uh, if you know anything about that, you know that all the internet time saving in the world can't prepare you for the time that that you spend with a new child in your household. So uh, I am ready to. Uh, start these back up. So here we go. Now what we're going to be talking about today is using a service called Feedly to, to get updates from all your favorite websites into one place. And, and this can save time because you don't have to actually go out and visit all those websites in, in order to, to see what the, the latest news and, and uh, updates are from, from those sites. You can just come to Feedly and do it. Now in order for this to work, the website has to have uh, a, a service called RSS um, available on on the website, and the Wikipedia entry for RSS is is very very good. So I will include a link to this in the notes down below, and uh, I just want to go over just a, a couple of, of quick uh, sentences uh, from the the article. Uh, it's it's rich site summary. Some people call it really simple syndication, and it uses a family of web formats uh, to publish frequently updated information, blog entries, news headlines, audio, video, uh, etc. RSS feeds enable publishers to syndicate data automatically. Uh, once users subscribe to a website, RSS removes the need for them to manually check it, and that's what I was talking about. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Software termed RSS Reader, Aggregator, or Feed Reader, which can be web-based, desktop-based, or mobile device-based, present RSS feed data, data to users. Okay, so what this means is, when you use a service like Feedly, which is one of the better ones in my opinion, it's the one that I use, so it's the one that I'm showing you. There are others out there, and I encourage you to go out and research that, because some other... Uh, feed readers might be more appropriate for, for you and, and work better for you. Uh, Feedly is, is sort of the quote unquote replacement for um, what Google used to have. They called it Google Reader and they end of life it. And most of the people it seems like who were using Google Reader and were real happy with it have moved off to Feedly because Feedly contains a lot of the same features and it has a lot of the same look and feel as, as Google Reader. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and press get started once we go to Feedly and all these links will be down in the in the uh, notes down at the bottom. So one of my favorite websites is a, a site called Lifehacker and as you can see it, it is in their search automatically. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to go ahead and follow. Now, at this point, Feedly is going to say, hey, wait a minute, I don't really know who you are. Who are you? And Feedly uses Google for account purposes to keep track of who you are going from place to place. Uh, as it says here, sign up to personalize your Feedly and access it from everywhere. Once you go to Feedly and you log in, you can log in from anywhere and you'll get the same look and feel from anywhere because that's the way you've set it up in the cloud okay so what we'll do is we'll sign up with google and at, at this point it's it's asking me this this app would like to do this now if you're not logged into to gmail it will ask you for your gmail uh username and password your your gmail email address and password now that is going directly to google feedly will have access to to your your uh, Gmail address, but they will not have access to that password. As you can see right up here in the URL, it says google.com, and it, it'll say that on the screen where it's asking you to log in too. All, all it does is Feedly is passing this off to Google and saying, saying, hey, I don't know who this is. Can can you confirm it? And Google says, well, who are you? And you tell Google who they, who you are, and Google in turn tells Feedly, hey, I know this person. This is who it is. Okay? And what uh, Feedly will do, just like we said, it'll Feedly will be able to see what your address is, and Feedly also gets some basic information about your your account. Uh, I I know it gets your name uh, because I, I I believe if I remember correctly, it does greet you by name and and some occasions. So we'll go ahead and click accept there, 
and wait for everybody to sync up and then here we go we've got a, a new source and the way feedly works is is you you can either just have it have it list out all your your subscriptions or you can group them by what they call collections you can think that of that as folders or or tags or or whatnot and what i usually refer to productivity i think i spelled that right maybe not i'm sure i'll hear about it if i didn't i, I usually put life hacker into productivity that's the way i've got it on my on my personal accounts so what you'll have uh, over here on the side is productivity life hacker and then you can you can have uh, you know other, other collections you could have sports you could have technology uh, you could have uh, entertainment you know just just whatever the subject is of the website that you're um, wanting to follow now uh, another thing you can do if you're using Chrome and I know they've got this for Firefox and I'll include a link uh, in the show notes for the um, add-on for Firefox, but they do have an add-on for for Chrome that gives you an add to Feedly button, and we'll go ahead and add that, and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. So you can see it's added this add to Feedly button over here. So um, let's say you wanted to go to um, uh, an entertainment site like io9. And you wanted to go ahead and grab the feed from that and add it to Feedly as well. Now you can see I pushed that button up there. We'll go back and do it again. See, there's the button. I'm on io9's website. And what that button does is the feed uh, for this is, is embedded in, in the actual website itself. And that button can go in there and find the address for the feed and then pass it along to Feedly to subscribe you. So as you can see, we've got the follow button. We're on, on Feedly, Feedly's website and I'll call this one Ian T for entertainment and do an add. And there you go. Now in this case, you can see I've got a collection called ENT, a collection called productivity. I've got also a sort of pseudo collection called all. And when I click on all, it'll show everything that I've subscribed to. Uh, now, one of the things I'd want to do here is you can change the presentation. Like here, we've got title only. Um, there's magazine. It'll show you these these three at the top are, are sort of the featured. They're the uh, the the highest read ones on Feedly. And then you can see the other uh, other articles in order. Uh, there there are different presentations that you can uh, you can go in and look at and find which one fits your needs specifically, how you're most comfortable viewing your feeds. So now as you're as you're reading let's go ahead and go to life hacker as you're reading through this five best mechanical keyboards i'm not real fond of mechanical keyboards some people are it's personal preference but i don't care to read that so i'm gonna hit hide uh remove duplicate rows in a google spreadsheet with this script oh wow that sounds interesting so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open that in a new tab i can look at it on life hackers website or i can click on the on the name uh, the article title and it'll actually open the entire article in Feedly. Now a thing to keep in mind though is is that some websites will put a, a complete articles in their feeds and sometimes they'll just put summaries. So when you're on Feedly and you look at the article, if the website only provides a summary, you're only going to see the summary on Feedly. You'll you'll have to actually go to the website itself to see the entire article. So anyway, that one's red now. And as you can see, hide, red, same sort of thing. Uh, save, you can save it for later. Um, so that's Feedly. 
I uh, hope you get something out of that. Take a look at Feedly. Take a look at other other uh, feed readers too. Uh, this is the one that suits me. That doesn't mean it's going to suit you, right? But they all work on the same basic uh, technology that is RSS. So I hope you enjoy that. Talk to you later.